Hello and welcome back, Commanders and Commanderettes. Chesty Puller here with another War Commander video. It's that time, it's the skirmish event. This can be one of the worst or one of the best um, events. Last event was pretty good. And if you'll remember, I think that these points carry over. I could be mistaken about that, or maybe Kickside just gave me a whole lot of points because I just looked in the uh, shop and I can just I can buy everything. I've got so many points. I think it carried over from last event, but I remember there is one event where the uh, the the uh, points will carry over, and I think it is the skirmish event. I also, it showed that I had completed a, a one of the skirmish bases and I hadn't even begun. So I think that might carry over too. Um, so um, here is the skirmish officer set. I'll show you guys the uh, recruit set also. But this is so foolproof, so easy to do the officer set. There's no reason for you to do the recruit set unless you absolutely want to. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the recruit set too. Uh, but uh, for, for the money and the time, uh, I, would, uh, I would just do the officer set. Uh, because, and when I say money, I mean for the XP that you're going to get and the amount of time that it would take you to do it if you did the, uh, the recruit set would be like three times the amount of time it, it more than three times the amount of time the do the officer set it's so much quicker you just have officer one and officer two and and you're good to go um, you'll notice that one of the things that I use is I put my lead platoon in the last location I find it easier to deploy from the bottom up less movement of the mouse and that's just you'll notice that in my videos I always deploy from the bottom up the other thing that I'm doing here and you can experiment with this is I turn Ruby off for a minute and then I turn Ruby back on and I think that it's better to start from the top left corner of this base and you can use attack move or you can do it like I did where I just physically moved them over there and then let them go on Ruby I was going to come down to the bottom right and then I said no you know let's go up here to the bottom or the top left it looks like there's more room up here at the top left and then as we clear the top left out we'll we'll automatically start going down towards the uh the southeastern portion of the base so um and now it's fully on ruby I'm not doing anything the only thing I noticed is that a lot of my ghosts were stuck back here on one <clears throat> one unit, so I did um, manually attack that one unit. I don't want my ghosts behind me. I want the ghosts in front of me. So that's right there where I did that. And um, so I also am using the same units that I was in the... Uh, in the skirmish one base uh, which is two cannons in three platoons and then Oxford and one cannon in the fourth platoon and that's my lead platoon I always lead with Oxford because Oxford uh, has a map wide bonus that he gives to all cannons so you always want to lead with your Oxford and let's just say um, you don't have the workshop for Oxford. He still has his ghost. You don't need the workshop. Of course, mine is max level. I have the workshop. Um, but I, I do know that this works for lower levels because I've done it for my son's base just to test it. And it's still free repair. Spread it out into four platoons and, you know, guide them at the beginning. Don't, uh, turn Ruby on right at the start it might work by just letting him go it might but I this is my first try so I'll do some experimenting if I come up with a better way uh, but rarely do you get a first try where it's like it's perfect you know what I mean so 
Um, this is for high levels. This is for low levels. And the reason I say this is for low levels is because the units that I'm using, low levels were given. And the workshop for those low levels was given as well. So if you don't want to use your Oxford, you can use um, just eight cannons all fully workshopped. And uh, probably your cannons are way over level 10 right now. Probably they're at 20. If they're not at 20, they should be at 20 because they gave them to you at level 10. So uh, you guys should have them uh, at level 20. If you don't, you're probably not you're not probably not even being serious about playing the game. But I hope it was helpful. Uh, see you guys next time. That should do your skirmish event for you, and try to get as many points as you can because they'll carry over to next time in case it's hard.